Now, the Senate Minority Leader, CIS Senator James Orengo, has been seen as ODM Party Leader Raila Odinga's ultimate right-hand man. However, Orengo is currently under fire from within his party. A section of his colleagues in the Orange Democratic Movement have trained their guns on him over his position to have the BBI bill amended before being submitted for a referendum. So has his stance strained his relationship with the party leader or are these just local supremacy battles threatening to spill over to the national arena? KTN senior political reporter Jeff Kirui interrogates. It would seem that things are not rosy for CIA Senator Senior Counsel James Agriorengo inside the Orange Democratic Movement, ODM. This is more than that. What's not clear, however, is the state of his relationship with party leader Raila Odinga. Ideological differences between the Senate minority leader over the Constitution of Kenya Amendment Bill of 2020 has put a proverbial target on Orengo's back. This following his hardline stance over the BBI bill, insisting that it should be amended in Parliament. It is not a ceremonial role. And we are not here to rubber stamp. We are here to consider, like Article 94 of the Constitution is saying, we consider and pass. Orengo's position inviting serious criticism from a section of his colleagues in the Orange Party who expected him to toe the line following a directive to party members by ODM Chairman John Buddy that the party's position on the BBI bill was to pass it as is. Now somebody just stands up on the floor of the House, a member, says, oh, this is this, this Mr. Speaker, let us not mutilate this bill, Mr. Speaker, in this House, Mr. Speaker. The highlight of what could be a deep feud in the party is a post on Facebook by Odinga spokesperson Denis Onyango that appeared to be a thinly veiled onslaught on Senator Orengo. The demagogues have had their ears, indeed decades discussing politics in flawless English and legal jargon on the floor and public rallies. It is time for a different path. In ODM, we have got only one leader, and that is the Right Honorable Raila Amolu Odinga. We cannot countenance any situation or a situation where anybody else would want to undermine his authority. However, another section of ODM leaders have downplayed the differences, saying the feud could be as a result of local politics, with focus on the CIA gubernatorial race, where Orengo is perceived to be among the frontrunners. In fact, Orengo is the right-hand person of Baba when it comes to legal matters. And we are in together in this, and we will vote together, yes, for the, the amendment bill. The bone of contention in the BBI bill is the distribution of 70 proposed new constituencies. Explaining how Kakamega was getting two constituencies is a bit of a problem if you are using a scientific method. You cannot just throw a baby with a bathtub uh, because the constituency were, 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 were distributed in a wrong way. So I have a problem, but does my problem live to the extent that we throw the, the amendment? No. The Senate is set to dispense with the BBI bill through a vote on Tuesday, while the National Assembly is expected to take a vote Thursday. Jeff, Kirui KTN News. All right, we'll see how that pans out. Now, Tanzania President Samia Suluhu Hassan 